And one night, it's snowing. I go out to score. Uh, there's nobody out on the street. And what I'd learned, and I don't mean this in a racist way at all, but I'd learned not to buy heroin off black guys. So I started being from upper class, upper middle class Santa Barbara. Um, I, I, did, I had no experience with copping in the ghettos, but I started doing that out there. And I would go out to these bad areas in Worcester, Mass. Worcester, Mass is a tough part it of is. town. It, right? is. <laughs> it, it is. It's dilapidated. It's uh, low socioeconomical tier. A uh, lot of homelessness. A lot of, lot of bad stuff happening in Worcester. And so I started scoring out there. I get you know, burned by people a lot. And eventually I learned how to do it, like where to go. And we're snorting it because out there it's China white. So we're snorting the powder. It comes in these little wax envelopes and you could buy a bundle, 10 bags, right? For, it's like 60, 70 bucks. At that moment, 2002, three, Worcester, Massachusetts, the blacks seem to burn people for, when, if when you, you ask say for burn you, would they just give, would they take you your give money them the money say, and they just run yeah, or okay. a, a couple times I got hit, yeah. you know, they'd punch me and then okay. run off. So this one, so in you, you learn just with the street, the adaptability of the street. You learn to go with the Puerto Rican guys. That's the guys that sold heroin. So this one night, I go to the street. It's called King Street, and people have told me this place still exists. You know, on my YouTube channel, people comment and be like, "It is that is still the spot there." I go out to King Street, and um, there's only a black guy in a parka, snowing. I'm dope sick at this point. My nose is running, and. I knew better than to ask him for it, but he was the only guy there and out of desperation. So desperation comes into play again. I go up to him and I say, hey man, um, you know where I can get some heroin? And he's like, telling me that he knows where I can, you know, he's like, yeah, yeah, follow me. Cool. I go with him to this abandoned building. The windows have been blown out. There's just plywood with graffiti where the windows used to be. Brings me into this abandoned staircase. And he says, how much do you want? Now his eyes are, are bloodshot. They're crackled with red. Looks like he's hopped up on PCP. Maybe he's smoking crack. Whatever the case, when I pull out the money, he pulls out a gun, points it at me, and starts accusing me of being a cop. He says, use a cop, use a cop. I'm like, I'm not, a, I look, man, I'm a college kid. You know, do I look like a cop? You, you know, no, ink no tattoos, on you. Yeah. long hair, goatee, look like a Led Zeppelin roadie. You know, I didn't look like a, I didn't look like a cop, that's for sure. And he's telling me that he wants to see me shoot up the heroin in front of him. And I'm like, I don't even know how to do that. Now at the time I had a needle phobia and he pulled a worn syringe out of a sock. This is an AIDS infested Massachusetts, oh, right? And he sets the gun on his lap. He sits in the stairwell, cooks up a shot. And he says, I'm going to do it for you then. Just so I know you're not a pig. Oh. And I'm like, so I just, you know, did the thing where I put my arm out and he shot me up with it. And that was the first time that I used IV drugs. And that was... You could have got AIDS, you could have got, or HIV, you could have contracted hep C. I got hep C from that first oh, time. Oh, Lord. I got tested oh, like a man. few months after that and it was hep, I, I, I had hep C. No HIV, thank, thank God, man. but um, I have hep C and I've had it since then. But, um, you know, I remember that first time shooting up. I mean, that was, that was life changing for me. It, yeah. um, if I was on a trajectory downward before that, it was like pulling the trajectory off and just free falling, you, you know, you created to the a new rock bottom. abysmal depths of addiction. And, you know, I didn't even know how to shoot up. But now that when I was going to score, I'm asking people for needles. There was no YouTube or anything to show me how to do it. Nobody was showing me. So I just, I didn't even know you had to find a vein. I just stick the needle in my arm and press down and I'd have these big lumpy abscesses everywhere. And, um, you know, my girlfriend at the time, she walked in on me shooting up and instead of being upset, she said, I want to do it with, with you. And so we started a year long junkie relationship.